But I tell you all what, you know it is about to get real when one, your boy is not really just using Under Armour, and two, I'm dressed like I'm going to like Russia or Alaska or Antarctica or something like that, you know? So, anyways, it is very cold out here today. This is day number two in Connecticut. It is in the 30s today, and the worst part, there are winds 20 to 25 miles per hour, which is why I'm going to keep this intro very short. It is very painful right now, you see? God just knew I was coming to Connecticut, man. You know, they said, go to Connecticut, it's going to be fun, they said, right? Look at this right now, so cold and everything. Ben, owner of the Eurotaco, is giving a few casts over there right now. So anyways, if you guys watched the previous video on the YouTube channel, you know what we did at the Eurotaco warehouse, right? I got the lures that I packed for myself with me today. And I'm telling you, we're having the privilege today of fishing this private marina, okay? In one of the lakes here in Connecticut. We actually know Jeff who works here at the marina and he allow us to come over here and do some fishing. So thank you very much for that, Jeff. Truly appreciate it. Two main objectives of the day. We're going to catch some fish, all right, on the Aerotaco lures. It is said that the majority of the fish in this place, they get big. So I'm really hoping to break some PBs today and catch something ginormous for you guys. And number two, Come on, man. We partner up with Aerotaco over there. You know what I'm saying, man? Partner needs to show me that, that he can catch some fish. You know what I'm saying? So let's get the rod. Let's get the lines in the water, man, and see what happens. Personally, I don't think the fishing is going to be easy today. I mean, it is the beginning of a cold front over here. Not to mention that you guys can see the water is very choppy. Right, the water is actually getting onto the deck over here, right? Let's see how deep it is right around here. Just gonna put my rod in here. Oh, this is pretty darn deep right in front of this little dock right now. I was told that as you move forward out there, it gets to about 12, 15 feet and even further. So I mean, today is definitely not going to be about quantity it is really going to be about sizes i believe i'm getting started with a little 332 ounce size 4 hook right with the high visibility uh the high vis color b vibe and let me tell you i just talked to ben the owner of aero tackle he's fishing a little dock somewhere over there game plan of the day is just to cover a lot of water find the fish and whoever finds the fish we just call one another, you know, and try to hit little concentrated schools. So wish me luck, guys, and hopefully we're going to land some monsters in this video. Numbers. Fish on. Fish on. First bite of the day. It's not a crappie, though. What is it? Oh, it's a bass. It's a bass. First fish of the day is a is a base. Is a what is that? Is molly, bro? My first ever. Is that my first ever Connecticut? Is molly, my man? <laughs> oh man! Ben told me this place only got the big ones, but I don't know, man. This one's actually uh not not like that as big as I expected, you know. But hey, oh, it's wiped. A B vibe doesn't count though. Outside of the mouth. You guys see it outside of the mouth? Yeah, sure, it's wiped at it, but nah, 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 nah. This one, this one doesn't count. Doesn't count, okay? This one's uh, going back uh, right there where it belongs. No, does not count. Ben actually told me that uh, sometimes, even using ultra light, you are able to hook maybe a three, four pounder. Sometimes even more around here. So I was really expecting that first fish, you know, to to be like a giant right but obviously in a lake this big you know there are fish of all different sizes right so i mean it is a good thing it is a good thing that there was something willing to to hit the b vibe considering that it is a cold front today you know what i'm saying we just have to keep grinding covering a lot of water around this this docks over here until we actually find what we're looking for 
Oh, oh, had a bite right here. My goodness. Of course, the Dink Master comes all the way out here. And look, look at... <laughs> bro, first fish of the day in Connecticut, bro. First Connecticut fish hooked in the mouth. Obviously, is a bluegill. You can't make this up. I'm telling you all, it is the curse of the Dink Master. You can't make this up, man. Come all the way out here to Connecticut, you know? And they were telling me, bro, you go to this lake, man. And you gonna slay the big ones, you know, bro? It's like slabs, right? But you know the Dink Master? What follows the Dink Master? Bluegill follows the Dink Master, man. You can just go to another state and, and, and catch one of these, you know? Otherwise, it's really not EPF signature species, you know? But that being said, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. Uh, we are actually looking for big crappie in this YouTube video. So hopefully before the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? We're going to find some islabs. Stay tuned. You found it? Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, Jeff is here too? Yeah, he just showed up. Oh, nice, dude. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Found him. All right. That's the owner of your tackle for you, boy. What's up, guys? Hey, all right. Let's go catch some slabs. Four million. William, this is Leo. How's it going, William? You look cold, man. Oh, dude, you're using shorts. Yeah, it's not. And a t shirt. Savage, man. That's, that's what's up. Hey, how's it going, Jeff? Jeff, Jeff. Nice to hey, meet you. Nice to meet you, man. I heard that you've been on the slabs over uh, here, huh? Yeah, a little bit here and there. I appreciate you you letting us fish over here, man. No okay, so we just got to El Dorado over here. Look at that. Ben just hooked on right over there. Jeff is the gentleman who fishes over here a lot, and he's been on the slabs over here. Look at that. Check that out, huh? How big do you think it's going to be? Uh, you have no clue, but there's a lot of 13, 14. Look at that band on that rod, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's fat, man. Holy smokes, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to take a photo of that. All right. So, hell yeah, ladies and gentlemen. You, you see that? That's what we came for. It, it, it's time for some slaying now. Hell yeah, that's what's up, man. Nice release right over there. Jeff is on now. Definitely on the school of fish, man. Dude, look at that. Holy smokes. Jeff, what are you using over there today, man? Uh, the usual Euro Tackle B vibe. Oh, oh, dude, it smoked it. Soft lock. Soft Looks lock, it, yeah. yeah, yeah. Top of the mouth, too. Yeah. Dude, that's what's up. Give me, give me a bump over here, my man. That's what's up, man. We appreciate you letting us come over here, my dude. Absolutely. Hell yeah, we got Jeff Sun over here too. Savage using shorts. 40 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what's up, William. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Got my first one of the day here. Here we go. Light that, bud. All right, let's see what we got. Man, if it is as big as the ones I just saw, I'll be very, very happy. Because Pennsylvania, let me tell you, fellas, I mean, you find some, but oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, yeah. Dude, look at that. Holy smokes. All right, give it a little bit of time here. All right, don't shake the too much, my man. Holy! Oh, yeah. <laughs> bro, look at 
the size of this thing, bro. Dude. I gotta put it in the live well. I, I gotta measure this one real quick, but this is a beast, man. Holy moly, bro. Look, little, little, little bee vibe. Look at that. Top, top of the mouth. I cannot believe it. Yo, Connecticut is, is, is what's up, man. Let's give this fish a little bit of water. All right, and I'm gonna measure here real quick for you guys. We're going to do a full measurement on this fish over here. I told you I was about to get real when Leo is dressed like I'm going to Alaska. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Now, Ben, you are the expert when it comes to this kind of stuff. How big do you think this one's going to be? I'm hoping for 16. Jeff, what would you say? 16? Yeah. It's over 15. 15 is big boys. Really? <laughs> Holy cow. It's very fat too. It's very fat. Okay, so let's get a weight on this one and then we're gonna get the the length. Goodness gracious. Alright, in terms of weight, how big you think this one's going to be? Over two pounds. Over two pounds. Alright, let's see. We'll find out right now. We got here. No, no way, bro. A uh, my scale is pretty accurate, you know? Yeah. It says two, <laughs> two ninety stones. Oh my god! You have to subtract point one one. You know, you have to subtract point one one from the gripper. But this is my PB black crappie right here. All right, give it a little chug of water over here. We're gonna take good care of this fish, and we're gonna use the Euro tackle ruler over here to measure how many inches this giant Whoa. actually is. is oh yes dude 16 and 16 and a half. Half. yeah and it's in the range of 16 and inches half. right here 16 and a half that is crazy all right let me release this guy over here guys he's being outside of the water oh jeff wants to take a picture because we double up all right all right let's do this real quick yeah. good all right good good thanks jeff appreciate it Hell yeah, that's what's up. Oh my goodness, dude. I can barely believe it. This is like PB crappie right over there. Holy cow, you know what? I'm just, I'm just letting you all know, man. Like, I don't need to catch anything else for the rest of the day. I'll be happy today already, you know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know how easy it is for a fish like that to show up from over here. It is my first time actually fishing this particular spot, right? But even Jeff was surprised. Ben was like, that's a pretty big one. So this is what we were looking for. Let's keep on slaying. That's what's up, people. You see this right over here, man? You see this over here? Two inches B-Vibe. And I even asked Ben, I said, which color should I, should I pick? You know, and he said, dude, you got to go with the with the high vis, you know, with the accent. I was like, hell yeah, let's go, man. So this is what we're going to put here and continue laying over here, hopefully. Okay, good. Yeah, oh, there we go. All right. Yeah, man, that's what's up, bro. Oh, oh, oh easy, bro. Don't, don't run under the dock, man. Easy now. Wow, no, there we go. No, I got it, I got it. It's, it's here. Yeah, wow, man. Whoo, now this one is a tad smaller than the last one, but as you guys can see, right? Holy smokes. I mean, this fish, this is good. This is good quality fish, guys. You know what I'm saying? good quality fish look at that holy smokes yeah yeah it's good and look at that not really in the gills i'm gonna do a very quick tim galati unhook here and we're gonna get this guy back in the water there we go quick tim galati unhook all right that is crazy man god it's late and why they're still here i appreciate ben too giving me some space over here to cast he didn't say anything you know but I know it, he knows this school is right here, so kind of moved a little bit over there. I appreciate that, you know. Courtesy for Leo Shane to catch a, a PB. I see Ben's got one over here, and the band looks pretty good. 
what you got here? <laughs> oh, dude, you're savage. You lift it up just like that, too. You can handle the bumpiness. Oh, because this one's attached to a bolt. Yeah, okay. This one is easier. Nice, man. Yeah. It's still very fat. It's still very fat, yeah. I was just telling the subs, man, you partner with someone, you've got to be at least able to catch a few, you know? <laughs> so you're proving your worth. Now I'm just messing with you. <laughs> we're good, we're good. I don't know how you feel, but I feel we shouldn't fish from the boat today. Oh, no, yeah, I'm cool with that, man. The reason. That was, yeah, that was just an accident catch. I stopped really when I talked to you. And it's just like two little blue gear, you know? Um, no, absolutely. Is, I would have went on the river in the ghost fish for, fish for crappy uh -huh. if we didn't find any. But the, the river, the 15 inches is pretty rare. Listen, dude, uh, I'm gonna tell you straightforward, okay? Absolutely. And um, if you feel like you want to spend some time with your family too I'm later cool. today, you know what I'm saying? That's up to you. I that. No, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm just letting you know, I okay? Go trout fishing. Uh, I don't want you to feel pressure. I'm not. That is like, oh, Leo is here. We have to be out like the whole day and uh, is laid out in the water. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, <laughs> okay. Of it, you know, okay, man. I'm just, I'm just letting you know. But yeah, going on the river beside like uh, catching more species, with, with, that's not really worth it. So you have uh, something planned out for the afternoon? I think we should go trout fishing. Okay, you want to go trout fishing? I say why not. Do you have any particular spots like you want to... Yeah, there's the Seven River 15 minutes away from my house. Okay. Do you have one? No, it's just I'm dragging something on the bottom here. You see, I believe you have one with solid tip. When I see that tip action, oh. this trout, I believe that's a solid tip. Oh yeah, now I got one. <laughs> yeah, now I got one. <laughs> you said that's so, yeah, I yeah, know. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have one, but it looks like a solid tip actually. Yep, it must be. It is. Yes. Okay. And that's amazing, bro. My rod is very similar to this. Oh, I see. <sighs> you see how fat they are? I got maybe one, like yeah, like a tinier one. <laughs> Jeff's got I let me let me go see what Jeff's got here. Oh yeah, decent. Another chunky Another one, decent. man. This one's a this one's a little bit. This one's one. a male. You can you know how to tell if they're males or no? Not? No, no, please. Yeah, the male, Enlighten us. With the male, for one, when they come into spawn, the males start getting really dark here. I see. We call that being in tuxedo. Okay. And they got the males have these white specks all the way down to the belly and around. Gotcha. The females will have the white specks will be uneven from being stretched so many times mm -hmm. from having eggs over from the years eggs, oh. and the bellies will be all white this guy is the crappy dude he knows what he's talking about that's what's up man that's beautiful yep so this guy's just getting his tuxedo on they'll get much darker they'll turn almost black i see that is great man and also the males they are the ones that make the beds. A lot of people don't know that. Oh, the male crappies will come in, make the beds, and then the females will come in, and the females will lay eggs in more than one bed. Uh huh. They'll lay a little here, a little here, a little there, and that's why crappies, you know, gotcha. they produce so well. <laughs> Very nice, man. Yeah. How long have you been fishing for crappie? Because you're like crappie aficionado, right? Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long have you been I'm doing humble, this stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Um, about 15 years probably. 15 years, yeah. man. That's what's yeah. up, bro. Yeah. Gotta yeah. keep one's lame, yeah. man. That's what's up. Definitely don't want to lose this one. That's the stuff that we do. My lure just got on the rope over there have to get on my knees over here like a baby because I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not playing with this little thing is here fall in the water on a day that is cold like this, you know? Hell no. This thing really, really wobbles. You see that? You see that? You do not want to play over here. So we just go fast like this. That's it. I mean, sure, it is true that there are some fish around here, but you guys don't really see it. This stuff is a little bit uh, sketchy, you know, especially these little ones right over here. 
with winds like this you guys maybe you guys can see better from this view everything is kind of like rocking so when i step over here i'm actually terrified i i have to put my feet in between these two things just to make sure i get a balance but that dude right over there holy smoke like he's used to it you see it's like freaking surfing on top of that thing right there <laughs> the approach we're using oh dude look at that ben just caught one over there yeah look at that Woohoo! approach we're using just be vibe today and i'm gonna leave my rod over here steady retrieve just there wow that's Big nice fish. man Make this look <laughs> but that was nice though how like that one's definitely bigger than a pound right yeah this is because they're very they're fat very right fat now. yeah it makes them uh, you're using nice. a different color of the anisotera i mean of the b vibe too yes i'm using the yeah. black hive oh, not black hives you're using the black hives. i'm losing the black hives yeah i'm using the fire tiger fire tiger that's I what's like up man color tone a lot. hell yeah all right man keep on swaying look for the big one there we go there's one followed all the way in hit right in front man that is crazy that is crazy man hit right in front here too let me move over here a little bit i don't know how big it is oh there's a smaller one smaller one smaller one all right not bad not bad oh easy easy oh very tricky sometimes fishing the dock over here look at that i'm using the fire tiger collar that was inside the same pack as you guys saw in the previous video all beautiful crappy but holy moly sometimes you really learn the giant around here that's a nice hit that was a nice one oh yes that was a that was a nicer hit for sure small one though smaller Crappie is laying the crappie over here. Oh, dude. Got it by the B vibe. There we go. Look at that, huh? All right. That's definitely female, according to Jeff, too. Scattered right over there. All right, let's release it right over here. Beautiful. Oh, boy. It is about 12 p.m. right now. The bite over here kind of died down, but only after we islayed this fish. Absolutely. You know what I mean? You guys saw it. Ben caught some fish, some nice samples. Jeff cast around. And he caught some real beautiful, nice ones. And holy smokes, man. I ended up landing my PB, my personal best black crappie the pomoxis nigromaculatus right here at this lake in connecticut and the action just kept going and kept going and kept going like i really wanted to use some other lures you know inside the little the little package that we boxed yesterday but the b vibe was just looking so good and working so good i didn't have a chance and then just like that the wind picked up and i don't know they just kind of disappear and the bite kind of died down so this is pretty much this is pretty much it for the morning fishing you know ben wants to go do some trout fishing in the afternoon now let me tell you something and this is actually quite funny if you guys watch me here on the youtube channel you guys know that i'm always using under armor right this is really the only video i believe ever on this youtube channel that i am not really using under armor i'm actually using this norfin jacket that belongs to Ben and Ben in the morning he was like Leo is going to be cold in the afternoon you know and he gave me the jacket he's like use the north thing man it's gonna be cold and I was just like not believing right thank god I put the north thing oh I'm not even kidding you know like this thing right here dude I never even knew but it is like so cozy you know what I'm saying 30 degrees Fahrenheit with winds felt pretty comfortable pretty comfortable full mobility so anyways I'm finishing the session over here today I hope you guys enjoyed this episode a little bit different than the regular ones right kind of hunting <laughs> big crappy slabs around the docks and I would like once again to just give a big thank you 
to Jeff, you know. Jeff uh, works over here at the marina and like I said, he invited us to come over here. This is a private marina, you know, so uh, I'm very, very thankful. Don't take me wrong, the lake is very big lake. You can put your boat out there and explore, but I mean, you know, it was just a very nice gesture and uh, truly appreciate it. You guys saw it in this video too. This dude is so passionate about crappie fishing. I don't know if you guys knew about this or not, but actually Ben, the owner of Hero Tackle and Jeff, they participated in a crappie competition in the south of the United States last year. And out of 100 plus boats, they finished in 14 in the competition. I mean, that's pretty crazy, isn't it? I never even knew that the crappie industry was like that big. And there were folks like that that is like so passionate about crappie and crappie fishing. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, this is it for now. It is really time to go. Thank you very much for watching this video. I appreciate it. Tie lines and take it easy. Oh, ah, okay. Do you do you eat like a fish? Um, I do like sushi. I love sushi. Love sushi. I love filled duck noodles. I love salmon. I love cucumber. Cucumber isn't really. Wow. What's what's in a Philadelphia roll? You've never had that? No, I want to know. Yeah, I Philadelphia roll is new to me, man. What's in the Philly roll? Well, it's like rice. So there's it's it's like a big roll. It's like this. Okay. Big, and they're they're like big chunky like big chunky pieces, and um. They're like cream cheese, avocado, and then like, there, so there's rice around it, and then there's seaweed in it, and then, um... Wow, sour, you're really good sour, at this, William! Sour cream, no, is it cream cheese? Yeah, it's cream cheese, cream yeah. Cheese. Avocado and, and smoked avocado salmon. And smoked salmon, yeah. <laughs> yeah, very good! Wow, that's what's up, man! You know what's good, man! Not a lot of kids your age know about the, the sushi game, you know? Whoo, let me tell you, that's, that's good, man! You're missing out! Oh, fish on, boy! I got a tiny bluegill, probably. Bluegill! You like bluegill, William? Look at that. Bluegill! So cute. You know, you know what's the scientific name of the bluegill? What? Lepomis macrocutus. What? <laughs> you identify the bluegill because it's got the blue heel on the operculum, black on the opercular flap, right? Beautiful fish. You know, William, you, you, your dad, Jeff, they're fishing. You should come here with your own fishing rod, my man, and uh, get the fishing going, you know? Yeah, one of these days, for real. Oh, had a hit. Had a hit just now. Oh, they're still here. They are still here. Whew, spot has been on fire, man. We all have been catching. Oh, there we go. Came back for it. Came back for it. And the thing is, every time you hook one over here, you just never know what size it is going to be you see it could be like a real nice one you know but oh yeah look at that my man that's about that's about the size here fellas i'm telling you like i don't know years i've been doing crappie you know around my area but this right here this is a whole different level look at that holy smokes you see that that's incredible, isn't it? Now we took enough shots for today. All came out just like that. Look at that. Just gonna put it back in the water right here. Boom. Wow, intense. Uh, I'm not sure if it is. This one's just, uh, I think it's a fish, but the bite, oh no, yeah, it's definitely a fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was just snack on grass or something at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> The bite is very subtle sometimes. Yeah, yeah they. It, it feels like sometimes it's just as like, oh my goodness, <laughs> bro! <laughs> bro! Holy smokes, dude! Oh, not bad! Look at this! Goodness gracious! This looks like a female! Wow, I mean, we took enough shots already. I don't want to mistreat this fish too much, guys. So I'm just letting you know, all right? Close to two pounds. I'm not even making this up. You guys see it? Okay, I'm just, wow, we gotta do. Oh, my goodness gracious, look at that. Ooh, feisty. Oh, yeah, look at that. Large mouth bass. 
Yeah, that's beautiful, Top man. On the B vibe. On the B vibe. Top of the mountain, man. You get a B vibe, you get everything. Absolutely, man. Multi species going good here. Very nice. Very nice. There it goes. Beautiful, beautiful, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Feels like I'm snagged on this one, bro. Wow, that's that's intense. Oh yes, that's intense. <laughs> that's why I felt like I was rigging snag, man. Oh my good lord. Ooh, <sighs> beautiful. Yeah, look at that. All the way, all the way in there. It's been a good while since I've had a uh, lay fast like this guy i'm not even going to sugarcoat it or anything you know what i'm saying it's all thanks to jeff over there and thanks to ben over here showing me a good time here in connecticut you know look at that holy smokes wow oh it's a hit that's just a hit that's a bite Come over here. Ooh, boy. Ooh. Goodness gracious. I just want you guys to see. All day, every day. All day, every day, man. That's what's up. There That's what's up. Goes. That's what's up, man. B vibes, my man. B vibes. B vibes, good vibes. There it goes. I'm going to get this prototype. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because you do that. Oh, easy, 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 bro. Easy, 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 bro. Easy, bro. Easy, bro. Easy, bro. Easy. Easy bro, easy. Bazinga! I caught like uh, two around there. Missed another bite. And then, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Saw that take, man! Oh yeah! Yeah, yeah, look at that, bro! That's what's up! I do. Absolutely, absolutely. Unless you got, unless you want to start fishing. That's a good one. Yeah, we should and take advantage and fish until we don't get bites. Dude, hell yeah, bro! Look at the size of that one! Wow, yeah, that's a nice one. Nice female. Nice one, yeah so fat chunky man and look at that is the pink is the pink right there sexy pink the euro tackle good good <laughs> that's awesome man yeah look at that that's a nice fish bro oh yeah that's beautiful There it goes. Amazing. She goes. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Hell yeah! You know, you know the deal, man. Oh, dude. Oh, oh, dude! Oh, dude. <laughs> that was that was a nice hit. Oh man! All right, all right, easy, 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 eas
Actually, I mean, yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's not bad, it's not bad. Oh, the dogs! Oh, yeah. Nice one. Yeah, yeah, chunky. Yeah. Ooh. Man, look, look at that. Wow, you can't make this up, look. Man. A lot of crappie anglers out there in the country would be uh be like to say, you know, this is this is quality right here. Mm. That's why you gotta release the big ones. You see people? I'm I'm telling you all sometimes about the conservation value, trophy genetics, you know? Oh yeah, that looks solid. Oh yeah, 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 that that looks solid. It does look solid. Yeah, it looks like it's got some weight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice. Males, that's nice. The males are really aggressive. They fight. Holy they cow. Fight. That's nice, man. Oh. That's beautiful. Windy, chilly, but man, we out here is lame, bro. Look at that. Wow, dude. Let me give a close up on this one right here. That's beautiful, bro. Beautiful, Jeff. Very nice. Back he goes. <laughs>